Spanish girl Karini here and happy blessed Tuesday. So today is a brand new week and for us to just embrace what God has in store for us and to keep that positive mind of Christ within our hearts, to not let that fire in our hearts of Christ extinguish in the midst of the storms of the pandemic and what else is happening in the world world especially in the US I no, I'm not gonna touch upon that and other things and there's just so much so much so much so much chaos that's happening in the world so that's why when you open the ne- the news or whatnot you know it's always something that's just not in our favor most of the time but regardless of all of that God can see everything and God can hear our prayers in the midst of all the noise and the chaos and the distractions that are constantly bombarding us every single day. So that is why we have to take this time to grow in perseverance, trust, and faith, and hope in our Lord Jesus Christ and our Savior. So with that said, thank you so much for tuning in to another video of mine, joining here at the Family of Christ and my YouTube channel. And for those who are newly subscribed, thank you so much for joining us. It really greatly means so much to me from the bottom of my heart and all for God's glory. And if you have not already subscribed, hit the subscribe button, which is right here, and ring the notification bell to get notified of any new videos I'll be uploading every Tuesday and every Thursday of every week so that you will be constantly boosted with awesome vibes for Christ and to keep on being that true warrior for Christ, as I always love to say in all my outro of my YouTube videos. So with that said, my prayers will continue to go out to you and your family to stay safe and stay prudent in your actions so that we will all get through this all together. I know it seems like forever and I truly miss, miss, miss doing my music ministry in church so much and going to church and celebr- and seeing the celebration of mass being done publicly and the fact that we're all confined with online mass right now and just private prayer in church. It's all we've got. This is what God's permitting right now. So do not despair. Do not despair, my friends. Do not doubt, my friends. Do not become discouraged, my friends, because this is the opportunity for you to actually grow in virtue and to not take this opportunity to fall astray from our Lord Jesus Christ. So with that said, as I always love to say before all my videos, let's get started. Today I want to talk to guys about the sanctification of suffering. I know it's a dark topic, but in the midst of what we're going through right now, I felt our Lord Jesus Christ and God really lead me to talk about that topic today is because there's so much suffering in this world, really. I mean, look around you. Go to your phone, check the news. It's happening every single day. We're told the cases and I'm like, it is what it is, right? It is what it is. But in the midst of all that, God is there. Jesus Christ is there. So therefore, never worry, never fear. Don't ever fear. Jesus Christ always assures us in in the scripture all the time, be not afraid, right? What happened to that? We have to be that church militant for us to not become wimps, to not become scared of what's happening. God loves us. Why should we start to crumble and just hide in a little fur ball? No. We have, like, we are the church militant, therefore we have to stand up and be not afraid. Really, like, when it comes to fulfilling our Christian duty, we're not here to impress the world. So therefore, persecution is part of the package. So therefore, when you're going through persecution, persevere through that. Persevere through that for our Lord Jesus Christ. Persevere for that, through that through the love of God that he's blessed you in your heart, right? There's no easy explanation for suffering, at least the suffering of the innocents, right? And especially in all that, God loves us, right? So that's why no matter what's happening in this world, be that fire of light of Christ. As I always love to tell all, everyone I encounter in my life, especially when it comes to prayer groups. As much as I can, every opportunity that Christ gives me, I try to put the message out there to be not afraid. 
And we have to reflect that. You can't just say, be not afraid. And then you're like cooped up in a little ball. Like, no. Like you have to allow yourself to go through the midst of suffering so that purification and pruning will be done. And therefore, you will bear fruit from that point on. So that's why you will see, you will truly see the greatness that will come out of it. And essentially, indeed, it is a mystery. Bottom line, suffering is a mystery. But it's through faith that we discover in the darkness of our own and other people's suffering. It's through faith. Very important to have that solid, solid foundation of faith so that you will not be afraid. You will not be afraid to go through suffering. If God permits any trial and tribulations in your life, take that. Accept it with love. Accept it with full love and faith and trust that you will pull through. You will pull through. And so, St. Paul. St. Paul, right? St. Paul, the awesome St. Paul, he legitimately said, we know that in everything God works for good with those who love him. God works good for those who love him. It's so beautiful like that. The fact that St. Paul can attest to that so much should give us that ultimate, 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 ultimate Confidence for us to just go through this midst of this world not being afraid of doing our duty, our Christian duty, our Catholic Christian duty for the sake of our Lord Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ died for us. He didn't come into this world to impress the world and to be a king and for everyone to serve him. But rather, for him, for Jesus Christ himself to serve others. Because that is how much he loves us so much, right? Just the fact that he was born in a stable, not in an inn. It's just that such beautiful, it has that beautiful image of just humility, right? So that's why, yes, suffering is yet indeed a mystery, but in the midst of all that suffering, we see the providence hand, the providence and of our Lord Jesus Christ and God our Father, who knows much more. Because really, if you think about it, God can see the bigger picture of everything, right? We can only just see what's happening right now and what happened in the past. But God can see the whole picture, and we are just one fragment of that puzzle. One small piece of that puzzle. So that's why it gives, now that we're going through this pandemic, the more reason we need to take this as an opportunity to trust in God and be like, God, it's your time. I'm fervently planning this in my life. I truly desire this in my heart, full, full purity for your glory. But I trust it in your time to be unveiled in my life. All right, so that's why we have to remember our greatest happiness and our most authentic good are always our are not always those that we dream and long for. Our greatest happiness and our most authentic good are not always those which we dream and long for. Because really, at the end of the day, it's God's plan and it's God's time, right? So that is what we should be seeking every single day. You know, for the sake of self, for the salvation of souls is one. That should be our happiness. Saving one soul a day as much souls as we can is ultimately should be our greatest happiness. When someone comes to a prayer group, rejoice, be happy. Because really, you're trying to bring that, your soul closer to our Lord Jesus Christ, right? Yes, it is ultimately true that it is difficult for us to see things in their true perspective. However, we can only take in a very small part of the complete reality. So, therefore, don't let stubbornness get in the way of you trying to think, yes, I want to take control of this, you know, but really, God can see everything. He knows what you desire in your heart. He knows what you truly long for. And he knows what you truly desire in your heart so much. So why worry? Why try to take things under your own control? 
but rather just surrender it in our lady's hands and Jesus Christ's hands and God's hands. All right. And yes, we're, we feel inclined at times to feel that earthly existence that is only real for us, but in the long term, God's always been holding your hand. Right? So we always have to seek the happiness of others, right? Putting your happiness aside and putting others first before yourself. Because that's exactly what Jesus did, right? So really always remember that faith, faith, faith trans transforms the meaning of suffering. So therefore, when there's a trial and tribulation placed into your life unexpectedly, just remember deep in your mind and in your heart that God's calling you to greatness. God's calling you to a greater virtue. God's calling you to really see the perspective of the reason of your suffering is because of your sanctification. So that's why allow yourself to be in union with Christ's suffering and therefore it will change you. It will truly change you to see God's love formulate within your heart into something more valuable and more fruitful you may not see it now but then when time passes and you look back you'll be like wow if only i knew if only i didn't complain so much i won't be like this now but at the end of the day though whatever you go through allow yourself to know deep within your heart that every single moment that you're blessed with is truly, truly a chance for you to grow yourself closer to Christ. I know it may not seem like that right now and everyone's just so frustrated, like, why can't we just not be ourselves again? But there's a reason why God's prevailing this to happen. You know, God can see everything. You know, we don't need to complain to God and just be like complaining him all day long and wasting time. But we need to focus on every single day that we're given is a day to actually save one soul. Salvation of souls. That should be our objective and our goal every single day that we open our two eyes to live another day, to breathe another moment. Right? Yes, I know it sounds easy, but perseverance, patience, trust, faith, and hope are very important elements for us to really fulfill that true christian duty for us not to fail yes the enemy will be lurking like no tomorrow when you persevere in love for christ but god will will truly reward you a hundredfold that you never thought possible so there you have it wonderful children of god don't despair don't despair, don't doubt, don't become discouraged. Those are three things that the enemy loves to feed upon us every single day of our life. Yes, it is what it is right now, but focus on what you can do, not focusing on what you cannot do. So remember that, my friends, don't, don't ever not be afraid because being afraid is letting the enemy win. So persevere, do the rosary every single day, and you will be blessed with wonderful graces to persevere more than ever and trust everything in God's time. So with that said, and as I would love to say in all my videos, don't be afraid to be true words of Christ.